Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, I recently ordered some buck and ball cartridges from papercartridges.com and all I have to do is add my powder charge to the cartridge and then fold the paper over and I'm ready, ready to go. If you're not familiar, familiar with buck and ball, basically what you have is your main ball and on top of it there's three buck shots. So I got a .662 ball it's a little smaller than just a naked ball that way the paper will fit down into the barrel and then on top of that is three 31 caliber buck shots uh, buck and ball was used during the american revolutionary war by the continental troops the british frowned upon it they did not like us using buck and ball and when the american civil war started there were not not enough rifles to go around so troops were issued smooth bore muskets and those troops that were issued the smooth bore butt muskets got the buck and ball cartridges. When rifles became more available and it was time to trade the muskets in for rifles, some units kept their smooth bores so they could keep on using the buck and ball cartridges. All right, so today I'm going to be shooting buck and ball cartridges out of my reproduction model 1842 smooth bore musket so here's the buck and ball cartridge 331 caliber buckshot and 1.662 ball underneath that I got a roughly a man sized target down range I'm about 40 yards from it so let's see what she does There's my target, and we'll zoom in to the hits. You can see the main one already, but the buckshot, let's zoom in. So there's our four hits, the .662 ball, and the .331 buckshot right there. Let's take another shot. My main ball right there, I've got a 31 buck shot there, so two impacts. I have two misses, one right there and one right there. But just because it missed this guy doesn't mean it did not hit anybody behind him. Alright, how about some buck and ball against the Maytag? There you go, buck and ball, good stuff.
Well, thanks for watching. Take care. Safe shooting.